What is going on guys, Eagle Aquatics back here and in this video I got a few new additions for this tank. We got a fish and an invert. So if you guys seen the last video, you've seen the rescaping of this tank. What it looks like now, I think it turned out absolutely amazing. We got the coral placement, all, everything's doing so good in here, it's, it's awesome. So uh, I, got a, I got a new, I got a few new things. We got the acclimation uh, set up here. We got the, the uh, airline tubing uh, shoved in the overflow to keep it going. We got the knot tie at the end, a slow drip. All right, quick drip for the fish that we purchased today. So here's what we got. We got the old bag. It's been so long since I bought anything for this tank. We have, this is a pearl scale butterfly fish. Look at this dude, amazing. I've always wanted to keep a butterfly fish, but before anybody says anything in the comments, I've always wanted to keep one of these. But everybody knows they're not the most reef safe fish. So I decided to take a gamble on this guy because as you guys know, I don't have many coral left. I don't have much left in here because I lost everything due to that impeller uh, failure on my protein skimmer. So almost all my polyps, my, uh, my uh, SPS coral, most of my LPS coral, everything pretty much died. So I'm, I'm not left with too much stuff. And I don't plan on getting any crazy corals uh, anytime in the near future. I'm just planning on adding more inverse, more, more fish, more creatures to this tank. It's standing out for the coral for a while. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm not, I, I don't have, I got a few leathers. I got this guy, I got the sea fan. I have the, uh, the brain coral. Uh, mushroom, just a few mushrooms everywhere. I mean, if he picks, decides to pick on a few things, it's not the end of the world because some of this stuff's on its way out still and hasn't recovered. So I'm willing to take the risk on this guy to see how it works because this this is just an amazing fish. Like, look at this dude. He's gonna look so good in here. Uh, made sure to get a big one since my some of my fish are pretty decent sized. They should get along. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But that's the new fish we got. So it should be awesome. And the invert we have, this is a Condylactis anemone right here. An anemone, a species of anemone I have never tried to keep. I've heard multiple different things on these Condy anemones. One, they move a lot, you know. Uh, not a lot of fish host them. And uh, they need a, de a significant source of light. But the thing about these guys, they're pretty cheap. They're just mesmerizing colors. They're pure white with purple tips. I just think it's an amazing one. I've always wanted to keep one, but I've always had a lot of coral in this tank. So now, I mean, the stock is dwindled, the rocks are all together. This guy's got plenty of room to uh, to move around everywhere. So I'm not too worried about him stinging everything. I can move around the rocks if he decides to sit right next to a coral. Um, so I'm definitely willing to take the risk on this guy. I think it'll be awesome. And maybe, maybe we'll just get super lucky and possibly the maroon clown might host this guy. I highly doubt it, but you never know. But I think this guy's gonna look really cool in here, and we'll see. We'll see uh, how he goes. So as you guys know, I mean, condi anemones aren't that cheap. Twenty-four bucks for that guy. Uh, Fifty-nine for the um, pearl scale butterfly fish. I think these are gonna be two amazing additions to the tank. So let's get them in the acclimation bucket. All right, here's the pearl scale. We're gonna release them into the acclimation bucket. Let them acclimate uh, for a decent amount of time. I usually like to do about 30 minutes. It's usually good enough. The main thing I get concerned about when acclimating fish, just making sure the salinity's correct. There he is. Because a lot of times the fish store, when, it, when you're just buying fish from a fish only system, the salinity you use is usually a lot lower than uh, your tank. I keep mine about 1.024, 1.025. Where a lot of fish stores, uh, like usually the one I buy from, he keeps his around 1.020, uh, 1.019, a little lower because it's just fish, no inverts, so you don't need a high, super high salinity. So be wary of that. That's why I just don't like dumping fish right in the tanks because usually the salinity is different. Uh, parameters, uh, I mean pH is kind of important, but main thing I'm concerned about is temperature and uh, salinity. Here is the condi anemone. I won't acclimate this guy for uh, as long as the butterfly fish, but still a little bit because anemones are sort of sensitive. I wouldn't say they're, sen they're 
as sensitive as corals when adding them. But, because uh, I usually just throw corals right in the tank. I don't acclimate those guys. But anemones, I will. As you guys know, if you've been following my channel for a long time, I used to have a, an enormous rose bubble tip anemone. Just huge. And uh, that was an amazing anemone. So, now that I have the opportunity to keep another one, because there's not too many coral in the tank, I'm not too concerned if he stings anything. Um, I'm willing to take the risk, that's for sure. So we'll let these guys acclimate for a little bit till uh, the water doubles from what's in there right now. So it'll probably fill up all the way to the top. I'm gonna take some out right now, have it fill up, and then measure the salinity of the water just to make sure it's good. And uh, we'll do a releasing. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 minutes. These guys have been acclimating. I'm gonna grab the anemone out right now and add him. This guy's still got about more, another 15 minutes till the salinity uh, comes back up to where it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna grab the anemone and throw him. All right, guys, I'm gonna aim to put him right in the center of the tank underneath the big Zet light. So right here, I got an open spot. Hopefully he stays here, I doubt it, but uh, we'll see where he ends up. But I'm gonna stick him right in this center rock. Down, down there, guy. So yeah, guys, he's on there. So we'll see if he stays there. I doubt it, because it looks like he might be trying to move already. But I see the maroon clown eyeing this dude. So, we might get really lucky and he might host this anemone. I'm not too sure, but uh, I'll keep you guys updated and see if that happens. I think that'd be awesome, but who knows? All right, guys, we're gonna grab that butterfly fish and add him right in this tank. Let's see what happens. As you can see, there's the anemone too. He moved down a little bit into the hole. There was a hole in that Texas Holy Rock right there. Seems to be doing pretty good so far, so we're gonna grab that uh, butterfly fish and add him in here. You can see him on camera. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, it's a fox face. All right, guys, he's in right now. You can see. It's always interesting to see how the other fish react. You could see the mimic tang. He's kind of like flashing to, uh, I guess, assure his dominance or his territory or whatever, or show the size of him. But you can see he's back there. It'll probably take him a little bit to adjust, but here he comes back out. Doesn't seem to be too scared of the other fish. And the fish don't seem to be bothering him anyway the wrasse a little bit. The wrasse is always a little defensive, but he's just got to show him who's the boss. Clownfish doesn't seem to care. The mimic tank seems to like him. Interesting. The triggerfish could care less. The wrasse doesn't seem to care anymore. The hippo tang, you just noticed him. You can see he's exploring a little bit. He doesn't seem too scared. See, the mimic tang's very interested in him. The other fish don't seem to really care. Yeah, the mimic tank. Yep, they just gotta warm up to each other. A lot of times, there'll be a little bit of aggression, but... 
They just have to claim dominance. But yeah, guys, that's the new addition, the new fish in the tank. So we'll see how everything goes. I'll keep you up, guys updated with more reef updates. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Finally get some more new stuff into the tank. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you guys want to see anything. Uh, suggestions for new videos you want me to make. And uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, leave a comment down below. Always, I always uh, respond to them. So thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.